Hey everyone, welcome back to WixFix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new no code mega menu feature inside of Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. So to get access to the mega menu feature, what we need to do is select our menu on our website. We'll come to settings and you'll notice that we actually have an option to upgrade our menu to the advanced menu. So we'll go ahead and do this to give us access to things like the mega menu. Then we'll come over to add menu item and we'll see a new option down here that says mega menu. Now we can call this mega menu whatever we want. So maybe if we have a shop, then we can create a mega menu that links to different collections that we have. But in order to access the mega menu, we can come down to this container and press edit. Now we'll see this little container box right here. We can make it taller, we can make it shorter. Um, if we press change layout, we can say stretch to full screen or stretch to page. So it'll just be the, basically the grid lines. So it wouldn't be the full page, um, but obviously you'd probably want to do full screen. I think that looks a little bit nicer. And then you can actually adjust the space between the menu and the mega menu if you wanted to. Now, realistically, you really wouldn't wanna do that. So we can just leave that at zero. In this little editor, we can come over to the add button and we can add a bunch of different elements like text, images, buttons, decorations, boxes, galleries. We can add more menus. We can add a form videos, interactive things like tabs or re hover repeaters. We can add regular repeaters here as well, which that would look pretty cool. If maybe if we have different collections, we can actually, you know, make each one of these boxes a collection. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this repeater though, is we do not have the option to stretch to screen like we do with repeaters normally. Um, so, Basically, our repeater is going to have to stay in between the grid lines for it to be fully responsive. So at this time, we really don't have full responsive capabilities yet within this. We're basically stuck to keeping our content inside these grid lines right now. I will say that this is still the beginning phases of this feature, and some of you may not even have access to this quite yet. Um, so I'm sure this is something that they are working on and in the future, maybe we will be able to add strips to add columns because you know, a lot of mega menus that you see online have different columns. So maybe if we go back to my previous example and we have a shop and we wanted a mega menu for different collections, then we could create one for women's clothing, men's clothing, kids clothing, accessories, you know, we could have different columns for different types of products that we sell. However, right now, like I said, we're basically confined to this area right here. But if we come over here and just add a button real quick and we go ahead and design this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and press customize design. Let's just turn off the background color. We'll make the text black. And then if we go over to hover, let's go ahead and remove the border. But for the text, let's go ahead and change this to like our accent color. And then last but not least in layout, we'll go ahead and change this to left align. Then we could create a little menu right here. Maybe this one could say woman's. And then we can copy and paste this. Bring this over here. Change this one to men's. Copy and paste again. We'll say kids. And then underneath that, we can go ahead and copy and paste it one more time. We'll bring this one down. Maybe this one could say something like shirts, pants, shoes, and accessories. And maybe we can just copy and paste this. Then we'll move it under men's and then we'll paste it one more time and move this under kids. And then in decorative, maybe we could just add a faint little line here. And if we position these a little bit better and then we could go ahead and add an image, something like this, maybe make it a little bit smaller, but bring it over to the side. Maybe add a little bit of rounded edges to it so we can select one of these options here. Then we can bring up this menu 
Now that we have our mega menu designed, I want to go into preview mode just to see what it looks like. And that looks pretty nice. Now, unfortunately for mobile, if I go ahead and set this as advanced and then come over to manage menu, we do not currently have access to the mega menu feature here for mobile quite yet. Hopefully in the future, this feature gets added to mobile to in some capacity. But as for now, we will just have it on desktop. And I think honestly, mega menus just look a little bit nicer on desktop anyway. So it kind of just works out. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.